Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RNK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Now I want to show you a couple of our new features in our latest update that we released on um, June 2nd, I believe. If you have not downloaded the new update, please do. And if you don't know how to download the new update date, let me show you. You go to the word Help. Come to check for updates. Now mine's going to take me there and it's going to tell us that our, our latest update is 2874. Now how would I know which update I had? Well let's check. I'm going to go to help about. Whoops, excuse me. Help and I'm going to go to about. And in about it will tell you what your latest build is. If it isn't built 28 74 you want to go ahead and download that you will download it and then you will install it and you will be at the latest version of the software now I'm going to close this window so we can look at a couple of these new features now I selected a flower and brought it on because I just am so excited about our new color play now our color play icon is right here on our toolbar looks like a nice little color wheel with pretty colors and I'm simply going to left mouse click on it now it brings up uh, the color play window and I can darken and it's going to stay in the same color family it's just going to continue to darken as you can see now I could lighten and again it's going to stay within the same family just going lighter and lighter now if I get so far from my original, I don't know what I'm doing, I can always reset and come back to the original. Now there's also randomize. Now I'm randomizing and you can see it's randomizing everything in this flower. Well let's come down here and reset because when I randomize this, I do want to keep my green stem. I want the flower stem to stay in green, but I want to play with the other colors. So I'm simply going to deselect the green. And now watch what happens when I randomize. Random, random, random. And you notice it's changing all the colors, but never changing my green stem. And a flower is a perfect way to show this feature because there's sometimes you want one color to stay the same throughout no matter what you're doing you want that to stay the same so I can come in here and play now if I got to one I really liked and passed it too fast I can always step back now you can step back all the way there is no limitation to step back I can step back all the way till I need to step forward so just so you know you're never where you can't step back. If you passed one you liked, you can go back. So we have the lighten, the darken, and the randomize. Of course we have where you can have it change all the colors or you can pick the colors that you want it to change or not. So this is a real fun way to play. So once I get what I want, I can say OK now that's what I have on screen and of course all the colors have changed to match that. Which brings me to show you another one of our features. Now of course this I brought this in from the library so you can see it is grouped. I'm going to come up here to my ungroup icon and left mouse click. Now you can see when I select you can see that this design has been ungrouped into its pieces. Now I'm going to collapse this because I want to show you another fun segment in here. Now I'm going to close my properties box by simply clicking on the X and that will make my sequence view larger. Now if I want that to come back, my properties box, I'm going to come right up here on my top toolbar and right here, this that looks like kind of a note card with information on it, that is my properties box icon. When I click it, you notice my properties box comes right back. So when you need to see your sequence view better, just close your properties box up here and your sequence view is nice and large for you.
Now notice what we've done in here with the colors for you also. This says show all segments and all colors, which means it's got all my colors showing and if I click below each color, it has every segment in that color for me. So that makes sense. Now what if I just wanted to look at the reddish brown? I could come in here and say I just want to see the reddish brown. So there's the reddish brown in here. And I could say I just want to look at the satin path. Now when I click this, it only shows my satin paths. It doesn't show any other stitches in there. So if I wanted to play with those in there, I could. I could now select this all, and it's selected all that satin path that's in this part of the design. Of course, I've got another satin path in here, so you can see. But you can tell it what segments you want to look at, and what colors, which makes it very easy to isolate when you need to correct something or you want to change something in a design. It's much easier to do it by selecting the color and then selecting which stitches you want to change. If I wanted to change a fill stitch, I could do it that way. Now I can come back here and say I want to see all colors. Maybe I just want to see my black. Now in the black, I want to see the stitches. So you can see in here the black is all done in stitches. It was all hand done. So you can see that. So you can have a lot of fun with this sequence view doing this way because it makes it much easier for you to isolate things. Let's go ahead and get a new piece of paper. Let's come in to our designs. Let's go to our library and let's go to our free monthly designs. Those are always, I always like to look in here and see what I have. Now I happen to love, I'm going to go into June, and I'm going to go to 2015, so you can see the designs we have brought in. Now these are just great. I just love these, and I especially love this little postage stamp with the, um, with it canceled on. It just looks really neat. So I could come in here, and if I wanted to play with any part of this, it would be very, very easy because all I need to do is decide what color I want to change. And let's see, let's say I want to work with my blue. So I'm going to go to my pristine blue. Now, if I leave this, drop this down, well, I only have a fill. So let's get one, let's get a segment in here that's got more than just one stitch type. Let's look in the red. Okay, you can see in here I've got fills, I have satins, and I have runs. So now let's say I just want to work with the fills. I can come in here and say, let me just look at the fills. And that way it would be very easily easy to isolate those stitches to work with them, whether I wanted to reshape them, change the color, whatever I wanted to do. Maybe I wanted to change the type of fill. Maybe I wanted to make those fancy fills. Maybe I wanted to, to make those fancy fills and take these satin paths and turn them into a fill as well and make them all fancy. Now the reason this is a good design to look at. The reason this is a satin path is because the angle needs to change as we move all the way around. We need to change those angles as we curve. So that is why that is a satin path and this is a fill. But you could come in here and it would make it very easy for you to work with this. So I think these are two new exciting features. Let's bring back our properties box. So now you can see we're all back. Nothing's lost. It's all there, easy to see. Now I want to talk to you about a couple of other things we've done with our update. Now the other thing that I think is real cool, talking about colors, because we've been working with colors and stuff right now, I want to go to File, and I want to go to my Print Preview. Now we have always given you the ability in your Print Preview to decide what you want to see. Now I want to print this actual size. I want to print my color analysis. And I might want to show my crosshair. Hmm, what else? And I might want to print my design colors. This is new. See where it says design colors? I'm going to select that as well. Now let's say OK. 
so you can see what happens. I want you to notice the first thing is at the top of your page. It shows you the colors that are going to be in this design. It makes it really easy for you to go pull your colors that way. So that is a new feature to make it easy to pull colors. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. So we have our design with its crosshairs. We told it to be actual size and we told it to print our color analysis as well. Now we've had this color analysis. We've always had this. But in case you never noticed, I want to point out on this that it grays out the, all the design. It's not stitching. So when it says pure white, you can see exactly where that white is going to stitch. You can see exactly where the red is going to stitch in relation to the rest of the design. And I love this feature because there's a lot of times when it'll say eyes white. In a lot of designs, well, what part of the eye? The highlight in the eye? The white of the eye behind the pupil? What, what, are, what are we talking about? And a lot of times if we want to change a color, it's hard to isolate by just looking at the colors printed out what it is. But with you seeing the whole design grayed out, it makes it very easy to see what color you're working with. So those are some of the new features of our Floriani new update. Now I also want to point out we've changed a few things to make them a little easier. We were noticing that every time you had to click those little down arrows next to the wizards, next to next to your artwork tool, that sometimes it was very difficult for some of our ladies to isolate that. So now we have made one icon for the wizards. I'm going to left mouse click on it and you can see there are your wizards without trying to hit some perfect little drop down menu. Also in our artwork shapes up here, you click the, just the artwork and now you've got your rectangle, your circle, or ellipse, I'm sorry, it's an ellipse, your triangle, your pentagon, and your hexagon. Now these, remember, are artwork tools, but now we've put it with one icon, and you don't have to click that little down arrow. So you're going to find this makes it much easier. Again, if I click on my lasso tool, click on my select tool, you notice I'm not looking for little drop downs anymore. Now on my stitch tool, I still have some different things I may want to do with my stitches, but we are just trying to make it easier for you because that is our goal, to have the easiest software on the market for you to play with. Now, always we add in new shapes. We're always going to continue to add in new custom shapes. Remember, of course, these again are all vector art to convert into stitches. We have also for you, I want to go to the lettering real quick, so let me get my T for text. Again, no little arrow to drop down. I just click on the T and now I pick what type of lettering I want, whether I want regular, circular, vertical, or path lettering. I'm just going to go to the T here and I'm going to move this up because it's going to stick my text out here. And I want you to see what we've done in our fonts as well. Now, if a font has a little circle by it, that means that font has some other stuff to go with it. So let me click on that. And that means if I've got a circle by it, then under style, I've got the default style that you see on my screen. Now this one can be a run, a satin, or a default with a run around it. The other thing you'll find in our lettering is with our small lettering, let me pull down to a small one, this will tell you line small 4 millimeters, here's a 3 millimeter one, here's a line block at 3 millimeter. So we have, so you can very easily identify these alphabets that are for very small lettering. Now remember, when you are using this small lettering, use micro stitch thread. If you use the micro stitch thread, that is our 60 weight thread, it's skinnier than your 40 weight, notice that you will have beautiful, clean, crisp lettering. It won't look heavy and clubby. But these have been digitized to be small lettering and we have identified them by putting, this is a 5 millimeter font, here's a 5 millimeter font. So you can always identify the smaller fonts 
right here we've tried to make it very, very easy. Again, Floriani tries to be the easiest software on the market. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Project of the Week, looking at some of our new features. Oh, one feature. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one feature that I am so excited about. I'm just going to get me a custom shape here. I'm going to hold down my left mouse key. I give myself a square. I'm going to go ahead and since this is artwork, I'm going to make a fill. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get myself an ellipse. And I'm going to put that over here. Let me change the color of that. And let's go ahead and make that a fill. And let's go ahead and get, well, those two are fine. Now I'll go ahead and 3D it. Here is something that I was having a hard time to do in this software. I want center center. Now we have something that most people don't have. In our align, I'm going to select everything to align it. So let's all items. And I'm going to come up here to my alignment tools. Now we have this tool that is center to the rulers. But what I was lacking was center center. So if I go to center selected objects, it'll center my circle right over the top of my square and center it exactly. Whereas we also have the ruler center. So it's very nice to have both types of center. And I just wanted to show you because we had not added center center, but it has now been added. So those are our, some of our new features. Now next week I'm going to talk about our splitting tool. I've had some questions on that. And so next week our lesson of the week will be on the splitting tool. I hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next week.